What's up YouTube? Bubbles and Ball Cards back with another video. Uh, hope everybody's doing well out there. Um, hope your week went well. And uh, we're about to close out October. Crazy. It's already uh, Friday, October 28th. Um, looking back, I remember in 2019, uh, it was a close series. And a couple days later, the Washington Nationals claimed the uh, World Series title in seven games. So here we are, um, October 28th, 2022. Uh, tonight is the official kickoff of the World Series. Um, so good luck to both teams. I uh, just wanted to do a little quick video, kind of um, discuss the World Series and uh, my thoughts on it. Obviously, uh, my team isn't in it, but I'm going to give some fair... Uh, some fair like thoughts on it um first of all obviously as a nationals fan and watching harper for the time that he was there and then the way he left and you know i i get it the man is in business and it, you know if i was at a job and another one offered to pay me more money uh you got to do what's best for you and your family but um just the time and his attitude when he was with the organization even before he even made it to the big leagues uh, kind of put a very sour taste and uh, left a, a bad impression. So uh, good luck to him. Um, you know, the, the, for those that don't know, this is the first time he's ever advanced past the first round or advanced in the playoffs period. So uh, good luck to him. Um, but on the flip side of the coin, there's another connection to the Washington Nationals, and that would be with the with the Houston Astros. And I'm going to set pa set aside the past, uh, you know, criticism with the trash cans and all that stuff because, uh, you know, we're in 2022 now. That that was in the past and, um, you know, sometimes you got to let stuff rest. But, uh, you know, Dusty Baker was a long time, you know, he was a manager here in D.C. And uh, I loved Dusty when he was a manager here. My favorite player, Michael Taylor. Um, when as a national Dusty always like encouraged Taylor and was just a hell of a manager and so for my choice and this is hard to even say um, I do just for the sole factor of I would like to see Dusty Baker get a World Series um, I do hope that the Astros win now it's not bad blood against the Phillies, really. Either team winning is perfectly fine, but I think it would be really cool to see Dusty finally get that World Series on his resume. So, um, good luck to both teams. I wanted to talk about a couple players here. Um, just guys that I like, sp specifically in the hobby, and who I could see being little, maybe, game changers, so to speak, or uh, have an effect on the game. Obviously, pitching for the Astros is going to be a strong point. Um, but there's other, you know, some batters that I think may not get talked about as much. Obviously, Harper is the, uh, the guy, the talk of the town in Philadelphia. Um, but this guy here, Reese Hoskins, uh, if you look at what he did in the last series against San Diego, 20, uh, 20 plate appearances, he had two walks, five Ks, but he hit four home runs. Now, batting average sucks, but, you know, if, if you're putting up, uh, a homer in one out of every five plate appearances, uh, that's that's pretty damn good odds. So um, I think if he can continue that and maybe make some other contact to like work that into some other hits, because that was his only four hits. So, I mean, you know, if he could put some solid contact and not just crush it over the wall, um, he could become more of a game changer in, in this World Series, and uh, he's not somebody that's really mentioned much, so it's normally Harper. Another guy on this team, he's got a ring already, but you can't ever forget Kyle Schwarber. Um, you know, he's definitely a home run threat, and uh, in his series against San Diego, he also hit three homers. He did bat 400, so his batting average was better than uh, Hoskins, uh, but he had three homers and 21 plate appearances, 
with four RBI. He even had Schwarbs. Look at this. Swiping bags with uh, two stolen bases as well as six walks, which is really good. So, um, you know, Schwarber, again, he's not Bryce Harper, but he does have a ring. His bat has been great. He is a home run threat. And uh, he could also play an important role with Philadelphia. You also have guys like Alec Bohm. Uh, I've seen Bryson Stott's name tossed around there. Um, so there's some other little pieces that could be keys. But I'm going with guys that aren't like specifically talked about. You know, Because Harper is obviously the guy over there in Philadelphia. On the flip side, the Astros, they got many people that are talked about. Uh, but I would say likely the two that probably get the most noticed would be Altuve and Jordan Alvarez. So I want to just take a look at a couple other guys that I think if they can pick it up because they didn't do so hot, if they can pick it up, they could potentially also help the Astros. Uh, but that's Kyle Tucker here. Um, you see in the Yankees series, he only batted 154. Uh, he went, let's see here, two for, well, two for 13, but it, or yeah, he had three walks, uh, 16 plate appearances, three walks, but two for 13 overall. Um, and they were both singles. So uh, if he can pick his game up, he's a threat at the plate. Um, so interesting to see if he'll bounce back from that. In the Seattle series, he batted 267, did have a homer um, and a stolen base. So just have to see. He struck out seven times in that series, though. So that that's pretty interesting to note right there so let's see what tucker does and then a guy i was talking to some folks in the discord i think alex bregman you know i hate to even say this because of what happened before but again i'm trying to put that to rest but i think alex bregman is very underappreciated within the sport of you know within baseball and especially sports cards and i don't know if it's because he's on the astros i don't know if it's because of what happened or if i don't know if just people don't realize this but ever since that man has played a full season in Houston, the Astros have either made the World Series or they were in the ALCS. One of those two seasons that they didn't make the World Series, they were one game away from being in the World Series. They lost Game 7 to the Tampa Bay Rays. So you have to at least respect a little bit whether cans or not were involved. Alex Bregman has had a hell of a successful career as far as making the World Series. Now, I think it's pretty impressive. I have to give the Astros a little bit of credit. You know, they lost George Springer and they lost um, Carlos Correa. And those were two key ingredients to that team on the previous years. And they're back in the World Series. So, um, kind of impressive to, to see them lose two Pretty big names, two great players, and uh, they're back in the back in the sh the series. So um, I do have Bregman on here um, against the Yankees. Uh, he had one home run. Um, he was five for fifteen, um, four RBIs, and he batted three thirty three. He also batted three thirty three with a home run against Seattle. So uh, you know it looks like his his average is. Picked up pretty good. Actually, this is one of his best so far. Uh, he had a couple decent series in the past, but 333 in both series is pretty good for him um, as far as the playoffs. His lifetime postseason average is 237, just for reference. So um, that's interesting. And this guy here. Now, I don't know what's up with him, um, but where is it at? Here is Trey Mancini. I like the guy. It's amazing what he's overcome with the, the cancer and all that stuff. He is a home run threat. Um, you know, long time Baltimore guy. Cool to see him get his chance in the World Series. Uh, but he has yet to have a hit so far in the postseason. So keep an eye on Trey Mancini if, he, if they keep him in the lineup um, and he can put together some hits or maybe even some homers. Uh, he could potentially uh, help out the Astros as well so just a few guys on either team that may not be spoken of or the hot player so to speak that uh I'm gonna be interested to see how they perform 
Uh, good luck again to fans of both teams. I have no dog in the race. The only reason I'm honestly picking the Astros is just because Dusty Baker. I would like to see him get a World Series title. But hopefully it's a good series. Um, and again, good luck to both sides. So that's all I have for you guys. Just wanted to put together a fun video, throw some names out there, share some stats, and uh, have a little talk about the World Series. But hope you all have a wonderful Friday night. As always, stay safe, stay healthy, and until the next video, I'm out.